<sighs> so, it, it's been a while. Um, I've been traveling a lot for work, as well as being sick about three times, uh, not having a lot of days off. So just really haven't had a chance to make any videos here. And really, there's been no change on the pinball side for me as well. Uh, just, you know, with the rest of this year, uh, I, I do plan on making a lot more pinball videos. But for today, I'm just going to get back into it, doing a couple things uh, like you're going to see here in a bit with uh, the, the new Helping Hands. Uh, a couple things that I did do while I was gone is one thing is I built this desk as well as a couple other desks upstairs. So I'm going to show some pictures here in this video. Um, one of the first desks that I was needing was a new desk up in the garage. Uh, just needing some sort of place to work, uh, keep tools. You also see that I put up some pegboard. Uh, so this really kind of starts to delineate or deviate the different areas uh, from a working perspective. So upstairs in the garage, that's going to be your woodworking area, your general purpose area if needed in the, if I'm working up there. So really kind of a separation of that from what's down here. Now. Down here on the table I built down here, I built a smaller table that's much thinner uh, just because I have a kind of a narrow workshop down below. But really what this is going to be is not only my electronics table that you'll see here in this photo, but also uh, the ability of doing other just kind of general uh, maintenance down here as well. So all my pinball tools, a lot of my other pinball related stuff all still stays down here. So this should be a great way for me to start to... Um, uh, be a little more uh, efficient in my working, not having to go up and down the stairs about a hundred times taking tools, which I cut a lot of that out from that time being. So one thing that I did find earlier in the summer that I wanted to build was a Facebook thread. I think it was on uh, Pinball Enthusiasts. If you haven't seen that group on Facebook before, check it out. Some really great people and they're doing some good, some good stuff. But uh, there was a guy that built uh, a helping hands mechanism. And he used uh, some alligator clips and some coolant tubes, much like these right here, uh, and, and built this, you know, in a very kind of ingenious way. So what I thought is, hey, I like that idea. I think that'd be a great video to share with everybody. So I built one. Um, you'll find all the descriptions of the things that I bought down below uh, in the description of the video. Uh, I, I think at, at all ends, this cost me maybe like eight to nine dollars uh, after shipping. So it's very low cost uh, to build something like this. But I think it can add for, you know, definitely a little bit better helping hands than the small little wonky ones you buy at Harbor Freight. Um, other than that, uh, trying to think what else. So my next kind of upcoming videos are going to be around... Uh, Paragon, uh, doing the playfield swap. I kind of have everything from a tools perspective and from an, uh, a, a parts perspective. I've kind of been doing that on the background, uh, while I haven't been making videos. And also Sorcerer. I want to do just a quick shop out to see what a root, like a routine shop would be for me, uh, and, and show that one kind of getting out into the wild as well. So with that, uh, I'm going to take you to a video that I shot earlier today uh, with my daughter Alice again. She really wanted to help in the video. So you're going to see that right now. But again, it's Pinball Workshop. Here we go. Okay, Alice. What? Now we have to get all our supplies to make our new helping hands. Do you know what a helping hands is? What? It, I don't know. Do you not know what a helping hands is? Uh, no. Yes. What is it? Well, it's a little thing that can help you hold things. Oh. So this is a this is a helping hands that Daddy has, but see, it's kind of small, right? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It only holds little things. What do you think? It's blurry around here. It makes another thing. Okay, so we're gonna make a big one. Okay? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I found these I found these on Facebook. This guy made this, and now I'm going to make one. First thing we need are these little alligator clips. Aw, they're so cute. They're so cute? I like okay. Which the, one do you like the most? Um, the reds. The reds? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to take these piping tubes, these coolant tubes, mm -hmm. that can make all different kinds of shapes. Like a J? Can you make a J? Yeah. No, that's not right. A business. Um, 
There you go. There's a J. And now it can be Molly's fish hook. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get take all of these and we're going to make this. We're going to take one of the, we're going to take off the orange topper and we're going to stick in our little alligator hooks. Can I help? Yes. Yes. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Daddy will have to do this part. This part's a little bit difficult. Oh. And that is pulling these off. Ouch. That would hurt if you did it to my neck and my head. Yes, it would. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Very dirt hurt. So let's see if Daddy can get one of these off. There we go. Yeah. See? Look. Okay, and now grab. So after we just pull one off, you'll get this type of look. Can, can, I, can we do the reds first? Okay, so what I, you do, I, and you just put it in the hole. Push, push, push really hard. Uh, there you go, and there's one. Now we just gotta do this uh, seven or seven to six more times. Oh, that isn't too bad. All right, here we go. Yes. The piping thing? <laughs> I like to watch when you do that. There you go. Okay, Daddy. Where are these red thingies? <laughs> Wherever these are. Oh, right there. Can we get these all done? Okay, lay it right over there. Let me work on, on the next one. Okay, here you go. I like help helping you. Oh, you're a good helper. Yeah. Let's do all the reds and then all the blacks and then we're done. Oops. Okay, there's another one. Okay, Daddy. I can't do everything at the same time. I don't have as much arms to have. Uh. Oopsies. We should show this video to Marty. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Uh, push, push, push. There. Alright, last one. We're going to save the rest of these for later. Let's do a black because we don't have any blacks. Wait, I got it. Okay. All right. So look, now we have all of these. I got an idea. Let's what? change one to a black. Oh. That way that'll give us... Uh-oh, that one we can't change. You got that one really good. Let's try this one. This one now we have three reds and three blacks. Ah. All right. So Alice, up here. Now, what is this? Uh, it is a piece of metal. It is a piece of metal. But what do you think we're gonna do with it? Uh, I can't think of or no. You can't think of it? Uh, no. Okay, grab one of the blue things that we made. Whoa, Whoa be careful. Now, where do you think, could we screw one of these in, do you think? Uh, yeah. Let's see. So all I'll do here is that this uh, is built specifically as part of the coolant tubes, where now you can actually just screw in this, and that will hold. Whoa! Yep. I want this fly. Please, Daddy. Yeah. You try. Okay. Put it in right here. Okay. Is this the right way? Yep. Uh, That's good enough. There we go. Look at that. Now it's got little pictures. So, what we're going to do now, uh, let's go upstairs, let's get a piece of wood, and I'll show you how I'm going to attach these. Good idea, Daddy. What do you got there, Alice? A piece of wood. A piece of wood. So I had some old melanine Ikea desks. So I cut down. This is, of course, I don't have my measuring tape down here. Uh, this is about uh, 14 by 16 inches. 
So my thought is here is that when I have this out, got here. when I have this out on my table or something, or I'm working on it, these will be connected on either end. That give you enough room to hold something even really, really small. Even bend them. And bend them, that's right. Yeah, so, it's going to lizard be all right, all right. So here's what we need to do, Alice. Okay. Now we need to attach these to the board. Oh, that's a fun part. Yeah, so here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to get these nice and tight. Good. So I need to get a wrench. I know what wrench is. What's a wrench? You tell Daddy what a wrench is while I'm doing it. A wrench is what you make things tighter. It, so they can make things tighter, so so you can work. Right, Daddy? Well, that's not really far off. So, yeah, that's pretty good, Al. And this is called a wrench. What's a wrench? Um, a wrench is it makes things tighter, so you can work, and so, so, and so you can, um, make things tighter, and so it's not untight. Make things tighter so it's not untight. Yeah, okay. I can do that. I told you. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep getting this tight. I'm going to get all my um, pipes in tight, and then I'll show you how I'm going to connect it to my board. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do the connections. In fact, I, when I saw this on Facebook, uh, the guy had done it a different way by using a bracket. I'm going to try to do a different method. So... I don't know if this is going to work since I'm using particle board and not plywood, Daddy, uh, but we'll see. Yes, Alice? What's this called? That is a power supply. What's a power supply? It takes electricity from the wall and puts it in there so I can use it for my special applications. What's an application? Uh, an application is something that I do that's special that I want to be able to get done. Ooh, like buy me a toy when I'm not around. Ooh, ooh. Or buy me a toy at Christmas Eve. Those are... Also possible things. All right, oh. be back in just a minute to finish this up and to build the other one. Uh, Daddy, I can't see you. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to work on Daddy's projects. Yep. All right, so here's what we got. Alice, can you show the camera what we have, what we built? Okay. We built those. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this board uh, to actually start attaching these on the ends. Now, I want to be it known here that um, when I originally was going to do this uh, project, I was going to use actual real plywood. And then you can see this is just chipboard. So this may not work, but since I already kind of went down the path of getting materials and I'm not going out to the hardware store anymore, I'm going to try using it. So what I'm going to do is move some stuff out of the way. Yep is we're going to be attaching these somewhere around in this area. Basically give well, them... How will we do it? It's a great question, Al. So we're going to use these big lag bolts to actually go hey, through Daddy. the middle, right like this, and then hopefully right into the chipboard. Daddy, now, yes, Alice? I like when you call me Al or Alice May. Alice May, okay. So that's what we're going to do. Try, try uh, to drive these in. Uh, it may not hold. If it doesn't, then I'll come up with a different perspective. Again, I've, I've not spent, but whatever this is, watch out, Al. And um, so there's not a lot of in, you know, into this at the moment. So, all right. Yeah, and, and if you break something, then you have to throw, throw it away that you can't fix. That's a good idea. All right, so what we need to do here is... Move these out of the way. Yeah. Let's screw them in. Yep, we're gonna try to screw this in. Okay. You ready, Al? Yeah. That was quick. Yep. Let's do the other one. I'm just going to eyeball it, but I'm pretty thinking it's about right. 
It is heavy. Here, how about this? We'll go whoop, whoop. Uh oh. Uh -uh. You just leave it there for a minute, Al. Let Daddy finish this up and then we'll okay. get it. There we go. So it actually did hold. I got a little bit of breakout on this one. It's just really, really close. But I've got a way how I'm going to fix that next. So the, the last thing I want to do on this, uh, just to kind of get this squared away, is putting some nonstick uh, pads underneath. Now, I am still in the process of reorganizing everything. But if you can think about just some little pads that live underneath, just so this doesn't slide around on the table. Or if you have like an antiseptic mat, something like that that you could use as well. So let's just test it. Let me find something that I can put. Oh, here we go. So here's a lamp driver board. And, and if you see something, and, and if you see a, see a bush with the sticky thorns like Taco and Grand Grands, you do not go close or you'll have to get them out at the doctor or get a shot. That's right. So this is a little bit of a bigger thing, but just to kind of show how this could work, uh, let me just... Drop the board in here, here Daddy. and without a, without very few funds here, uh, this, the board, you know, this was scrap wood that I just had laying around, but now I have a board that I can work on. If you want, it, you want to buy something like the Panavice, like I've been using, you wanted something a bit more solid. Now, this is probably not the best for boards, but if you're thinking of assembly or something of that nature, yeah. or if you're just working on anything else, great little thing here, and for about... I think I spent a total on this of maybe nine bucks. I've got eight arms here that I could use for a variety of things. So, yeah, like mine. And, and if you have boogies, make sure you get tissue. And if you have to, and do not say potty words unless you have to go potty. That's right. That is the most important lesson of the day is do not say potty words. Yeah. Unless you have to go potty, right? Yeah. And you've never done it before, right? Nope. I disagree. Yeah. All right. So for the pinball workshop, our first video back in like three months because of her and other silliness, we're going to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye to all the people that are watching? Goodbye. Boo. All right. Make sure it's Halloween. Boo. All right. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.